Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today I am back with another very very interesting topic that is phylum esque helminths. So let us begin. So students, let us say you have a worm. These worms are all circular in their cross section. What does this mean? If you cut a worm transversely, that is horizontally, and you look at it in the cross section, what you will see is you will see a round or a circular pattern. That is why these organisms are also called as round worms. There are many other names for this particular phylum. It is also called as nemathelminths. It is also called as nematoda. And the common words are also used like round worms, thread worms, etc. Moving on students, let us study the general characters. We will be first starting with their habitat. Students, these organisms can be free living or parasitic. They can be found in aquatic as well as terrestrial environment. I just said that these organisms are also free living. But students, one thing which we have noticed that most of the roundworms known to humans are mostly parasitic. Can you see this image right above me? This is the image of a human elementary canal which is completely infested with roundworms, probably a roundworm called as Ascaris. Moving on students, the body symmetry is bilateral and also as you can see, these are triploblastic animals. Now what is meant by that? Look at the image right above me. Do you see that the body of these organisms have all three germ layers that is the outermost ectoderm, the middle mesoderm and the innermost endoderm. Also students they have a coelom which is not a true coelom but a false coelom that is why it is called as a pseudo coelomate organism. What is a pseudo coelom? It is a cavity which is not completely surrounded by the mesoderm. Moving on students, they have organs as well as many organ system. That is why their level of organization is organ system. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.